And, so, well, and then Brian said, <laughs> I'm not angry. And we all laughed. Yeah, there you go. Sorry, go okay, on. thank you for that. Yep. So <laughs> welcome to tonight's show. You're with Tom, Brian and Steve, and we're going to review round 11 um, coming up this weekend. But before we do, gentlemen, let's pick up from where we left off. Oh. That was a ridiculous thing <laughs> on the weekend. That was dumb, and I want it stopped. And I'm going to 24 hours about. they've been doing this, you know. Yeah, okay. I can't believe how much you complain. <laughs> how does your wife put up with you? <laughs> Why do you think she's not here? <laughs> oh dear, it's all good fun. Except when you're talking to Brian. Okay, um, let's go on to round 11, gentlemen. We're at Queensland Country Bank Stadium. Uh, North Queensland are playing the Newcastle Knights. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. <laughs> So, so, yeah, yeah. Is Ponga exactly. back? No, is not back. Ponga's not back. So Blake. what is Ponga's problem? Is he got a uh, it hip? Time? Hip. Okay. All right. So I, yeah. I, honestly, I can't see North Queensland losing this one. No. But you know what? There is no consistency in Newcastle. No. No. Oh no, Blake Green isn't back. He's just named on the reserves bench. Yeah. No. Cow- Cowboys at home will win this one. No, I don't. I think it'll be an impressive performance, but I think they'll win. At their yep. best, they can be very exciting to watch. Who? The Co- Cowboys. Cowboys. Oh. They, they play some exciting football when they're on, but they're not on very often. Valentine's Holmes is starting to find his feet. Yep. Yeah, yeah, Josh Drinkwater, yeah. Jay Clifford, when they're on. Yeah, yeah. good. Yeah, good. Reese Robinson. Oh, he's on. tremendous. Tom Malolo, yeah. when he's on. He he, he wants Reese Robinson. At no, the, no, I just think Reese Robinson's an ex- exceptionally good hooker, and he's dangerous. I, I told you at the outset of that game the other night, Watch out for Reese Robson, and he proved me right. But look, as we said in the last show, you got Bradman Best, Kurt Mann, David Clemmer, Jaden Braley, Daniel Safidi, Tyson Frizzell, Frizzell. Lachlan Fitzgibbon, Mitch Connor. Barnett, Connor Watson, Jacob uh, Safidi. Yeah, Connor Watson, Jacob. They are blokes yeah. that would go into most clubs. Yes. This yes. team should not be losing to no. the Cowboys. No. No. But right, that they said, will. they will. This team should not be. Having only won four games this year, yeah. and we're now around 11. Yeah, correct. Pretty, pretty disappointing. All right, so we're all on the cows? Yes. I'm on the cows. Okay, let's yep. go on to Central Coast Stadium where the Warriors are playing the West Tigers. Mm, interesting game, this one. It's, it, you've got the Gumps versus the Tigers. Um, which you know, which team's going to turn up for either of them? Um, Gumps versus the Tigers. Remember the Gumps? You know, you yeah. never know what you're going to get. I, I distanced myself from Tom's comments. Yeah. Oh, I've been calling you. the Gumps for five, six years. Yeah, I know. Like I'm still, I am still distancing myself from your yes, comments. We weren't politically correct five or six years ago, and we're not now. No, we're not. Go the Gumps. See, <laughs> I'm going to give the Tigers a, a chance here. Yeah, they no. can play like they did last week. Tigers can't win two games in a row. Yep. Well, they might well, show you up. I'm, I'm, I'm on the Warriors. I'm actually on Tigers as well. Yeah. That's two of you that are wrong. Okay, let's go to Cronulla Sharks and <laughs> St. George Illawarra at Net Strategy Jubilee Stadium. So this derby usually performs at a high rate. This is usually a high well, quality game. It's a Dragons B grade side. Yeah, the Dragons have got 12 players out. Well, struggling to find a team. Yeah. Well, I mean, you know, it's still got still got a good. Well, Cody Ramsey's playing fullback this week. I don't know what he's like at fullback, but you still got Bird. You still got um, uh, Norman and Hunt. They're playing reasonable. Yeah. Um, you got McCulloch, got Vaughan, Blake Kerr. Murray, Kerr. Um, I, I like Jackson Ford. I think he's a yeah. he's a mighty fine second rower. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah. look, they're, Cronulla they're still will win this in a counter. <laughs> uh, look, I, I'm I'm not so sure about that. I think this will be a very tight game. This could go down to Golden Point. I can't. I, what, what are the ins and outs for Cronulla? Um, ins are no one. So they got the same team they had. Sean, Sean, Sean Johnson hits the reserves bench. That's the only the only notable inclusion. So you would expect him to play. Oh, no, you, you'd expect no, you wouldn't. Well, he's named on the reserves. I don't think he will. Okay. Uh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm going the Sharks. Yeah. No changes to the 17, which went down to the Rabbitohs in Magic Round. Can't pick this one. Okay. I've, I've gone Sharks as well. Uh, let's go to Seabus Super Stadium where the Titans are playing the Dogs on Saturday afternoon. I do not give the Dogs a hope. No. No, Titans at home, they're going to want to... Because they've lost the last two or three games, I think. Yep. They? E- even, even if the Dogs can come out and score 18 points... Hmm. 
The Titans are the kind of team that will score 40. And Fafita's back. He only got a week, didn't he? Uh, pretty, two pretty weeks sure I thought he's back. been out for, but... No, I think he only got a week. Um, well, I'll tell you what, with Fafita and Tino... No, no, no Fafita. Fafita, that's surprising. Well, and Herman Essie Essie is out, and so is Tyrone Peachy. Right. Okay. So... I, look, I, I, yeah, I think this will be an easy win for the Titans. Yep. I mean, um, gentlemen, Kyle Flanagan looks like being moved on. That's that's He's pretty. A, that's pretty sad, isn't it? Yeah. That was if you heard that. Well, yeah. Really? The, apparently, the rumor is he's gone back to the Sharks. Yeah. Really. I look. Very sad. I, I think you know. I, I what the Roosters did to him last mm. year, I think, was cruel. Yep. But you know yep. what? Behind a good for, pack going forward, yes. he actually wasn't too bad. He was by far well. He was not the worst halfback going around. Well, last first year. game of the season, he looked good. Yeah. You know. Um, so, you know, I, I think he needs to go to a club that actually promotes forward play mm. and put him behind a decent pack, and the Sharks have got that. Yep. I mean, even the Broncos would be... Would I'd be. actually consider him for Souths. Yep. I'd be happy for him to play reserve grade at Manly. <laughs> the Broncos have got a good forward pack. Well, when Daly right. Cherry oh, yeah. Evans goes over to Souths, you can take him at Manly. No, that won't be for a few years yet. Um, and and, and we've, we've, we've got another gun half coming through too, <laughs> don't you worry. Yeah, so have we, apparently. Yeah, but yours, yours plays makes no impact. Ours hasn't played yet. <laughs> no, 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 no. Ours hasn't played yet either. Well, you got another one. We've got two. We've got Ooh. two guns coming through, and that's half the reason why the Adam has gone. Yeah, yeah. Anyway, we'll let's go on to Brisbane Broncos and the Sydney Roosters at the Sydney Cricket Ground. Tom, you going to watch this game? I can't. I've got commitments Saturday night. Um, so, yep. just how important are the Roosters to you then? Oh, look, I've made, made a commitment to, you know, keep my word. Mm, dear, okay. But it is Jake, celebrate Jake Friend um, uh, game, which would be fantastic. I wish I was there for that, but I'll be watching watching it probably on replay, I guess. Um, uh, look, I, I think I, I, I can't see them losing with, uh, with this kind of uh, occasion. Um, I think that they will be better and, for last week. And the momentum. The yeah. momentum that you picked up off your last couple of wins when, yeah. when most people were expecting it to be a lot tougher and harder they've been resilient they've been incredibly resilient and look lucky ham lucky lamb had a really good game um and so then they've got hopefully starting to be a settled settled so what set are the ins, ins and outs for the roosters none the one to 17 one to 17 yep. and broncos yep. broncos uh gee they've got ins albert kelly piakura copley mead hetherington and rubardi yes. out milford oates and ricky so albert kelly is coming in to replace milford Yep. Albert yes. Kelly hasn't played in the NRL since what 2014. Yep. Something like that. Come from England. Yeah. He's come back yeah. from England. He's, well, he's, a, he's a he's a quality player. He was. Huh? He was a quality yeah. player. Yeah. Um, he's he's one of those um, tricky sort of players. You know, he can he sort of tricky little things um, at times. But can he do it consistently? Don't know. Yeah. Th- and this is another club that constantly change. Set your yeah. halves. Set your fullback. Yeah. So stick with it. I agree. It's just, it, it, I agree. Dumb. You can't like, just keep shuffling. They, they, they dropped Anthony Milford for two weeks. Yeah. They brought him back. He played like a champion. Mm. Um, then they get badly beaten for the next two weeks, and now they've dropped him again. Yep. Mm. Yep. Just set and forget. If, if he's your best half, play him. Mm. Yeah. All right. So, so the, who's winning? Uh, Roosters. I've gone Roosters. Yep. Okay. Geo Stadium, where the Canberra Raiders are playing the Melbourne Storm. Yeah. This could be 90. <laughs> or 9. <laughs> mm. yeah. What do you do? What do you do with what do you do with a team like the Raiders? If they miss 40 tackles against Melbourne Storm, they will, Melbourne Storm will rack up a score. Well, they're missing the three J's. Whiten, Papali'i and Hodgson yep. are all out on suspension. So that's and, and Melbourne are missing Pappenhausen and Jackson Smoothie, but then so they lose yeah. them, so they can put in yeah. um, and, Brandon and, Smith and Munster. Um, like the, the, yeah. they trust me, the, the Melbourne Storm side is down. Mm. But the problem is the problem with Melbourne is that they are settled. Mm. Yeah. So it doesn't it doesn't matter if Cameron Munster comes out and another five eight comes in. Mm. He knows he doesn't need to be Cameron Munster. That's right. That's right. Yeah. He just needs to do what a five eight does. Yes. Yeah. I, I think that's that's the difference. Yeah. The Storm will win this comfortably. Oh, yeah, absolutely. Give me a score. Give me a margin. 32. 32. 20. 20. Yeah. 
Okay. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I would think it'd be about 16, but yeah, okay. Right. All right, let's go on to what is obviously the match of the round at Apex Oval. Why on earth are we playing this game at Apex Where's Oval? Where's Apex Oval? Maury. Maury, Dubbo. Maury. Maury. Maury? Yeah. Dubbo. Yeah. Well, one of the two. Yeah, I think I thought it was Dubbo, but I could be wrong. Mm. Uh, Apex Oval, South Sydney Rabbitohs against the Penrith Panthers. They're going to sell Grant's out Grant's at 11,000 people. I'm sorry, I, I love the fact that sometimes clubs take games mm. to... Mm. But honestly, you get 30,000 mm. at Sydney for this one. Yeah. So yep. Gra- Graham, Mansour and Luttrell Le- Mitchell notably are, are back in. Yeah, well, Graham is... Um, Named in the 19. He's not actually in the, in okay. the starting side. Okay. Mansour yep. is back in the starting side, which is a yep. benefit. Uh, Latrell's, um, Latrell's back. Is back. Yeah, that's a big game. It's a massive game. So do you guys give South any chance? Nope. Do you think it'd be close or run away? I... The, if you guys can score more than three tries, you're in with a chance. Against Penrith's defence. Yeah. Yeah. I, I don't know whether I don't know whether I don't know whether you can though. That's the problem. So I, I think easily the Panthers will score thirty because I think that that's just what they can do to any team in the comp. Yeah, I think it, it's it's whether you guys can can get two or th- three or four tries on them before they score thirty and actually try and shell shock them. So, so I don't. I, yeah, I think it'll be a high scoring game, and I think you'll lose by two two tries. So last week. South beat Cronulla Sharks. Yep. But they still missed 36 tackles. You can't do that. Last week, Penrith won convincingly and missed nine tackles. <laughs> yep. <laughs> and I don't even know how they counted the nine. <laughs> well, you know what it was? The nine was that, yeah. yeah anyway, doesn't matter. Yeah. yeah. I, yeah. I, I think it'll be a competitive game, but I think uh, Panthers will win a couple of tries, I think. <sighs> okay. Be- because I think there'll be a lot of, lot of points scored. Just because I think you're a good attacking yeah, side, no, I think but I don't too. know that your defence will be good enough for the rest, for the Panthers. I think we are, and I'm going to back South to win. I'm going to back South <coughs> to beat Penrith, and this will be their first loss for the year. Wow, be cool. I kind of hope you do. Yeah, <laughs> yeah of well. course you do. All right, let's go on to Bankwest Stadium on the Sunday afternoon, where the Parramatta Eels are playing the Manly Warringah Sea Eagles. I must say, I think this is the game of the round, Steve. <laughs> no. Yes. Team one against team three, team... Six. Three, two against team six. I mean, come on. Seriously. Yeah. I mean, yeah. This will be a really good game. This should be a good game. And yeah, with, all, with all the animosity and the, the spite between the, between the, you know, oh, the fans. But, but hang on, Parramatta are now the silver tails. Manly's <laughs> come out and said Parramatta are now the benchmark for the competition. Um, in the way they train and the team and all that sort of Probably stuff. Probably does. Dead. Can I, can I just and say... now saying they are the silver can I, can I just say... the battlers. Raider, Manly. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, yes, you are now the battlers. It's a pity about Kieran, Kieran Foran. Broken yeah. hand, isn't it? Yeah, broken yeah. hand. Sure. Now, I I was having a chat to Josh Alloy this week. Just yeah. throw that in there. Mm. And he, was, he had a broken hand and was supposed to be out for... Six to eight weeks. Right. Uh, he's suggesting that he may not be back to around twenty-one. Oh, really? So I don't know how bad that break was. Yeah, he was. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. That's huge. Yeah. And so I, I hope Kieran Foran isn't the same kind of um, injury. Because good bloke, he, good bloke, you said. Oh, great bloke! Yeah. Like I, I don't know. I don't understand how a bloke with that little anger and animosity can play in the front row. To be honest, but anyway. Yeah. So. All right. Uh, uh, Give me I'm, your predictions. I'm going to have to, have to get the, go the eels. Sorry. Go yeah, the idiots. Yeah, you will. Go the eels. Eels for me too. Oh, but I think it'll be a tight contest. I don't think there'll be much in it. At least I picked your team. Yeah, but you didn't pick mine. Well, I don't think they can beat the Panthers. Well, I don't think yours can beat Parramatta. <laughs> well, this will be this will be the acid test of where my club's up to. I think. And yeah. and the yep. same will go for South. Right. Yep. Um, yeah, I'm 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 keen. Um, one change to the Manly team, and that's Kate Cuss comes into um, five eight. Uh, for Kieran Foran. Any changes to Penrith? So Cleary's is not two. out. Yeah. They, not play out. The, they play the Eels. Yeah, no, he's, he's just hoping. He's gone back. In his mind, there's one game yeah. this weekend. Yeah, I'm only talking about <laughs> one game. We didn't ask about changes to the Panthers, and I want to know that their whole team is out. There's nobody Steve, of note in for St- that. Steve, let, let me tell you, uh, Cleary's out, Coruscant's out. Um, oh, I uh, feel... 
Kick owls out. I feel so much better. Toho's out as well. <laughs> I feel so much better. And now we'll wake you up. Yeah. Oh, dear oh, me. Oh, dear. All right. So that's the oh, that's it. Oh. Yeah, just want to ask, um, Adam Reynolds has now signed with mm-hmm. Broncos. There's been a lot of talk, um, interesting enough, not a lot of talk about why South let him go, but a lot of talk about how the, the Sharks stuffed this up. Oh, mm, yeah. I mean, honestly, they're copying a barrage. Now, Fitzgibbon has come out and defended the Sharks. Because he has um, to. He's a new, he a new employer. But they're his new employer. Apparently, he, had, he thought Reynolds was coming over. And the Sharks just screwed mm. this up completely. Yep. Yeah, the, the, the talk was that he got on really well with um, with Reynolds, but um, there were, uh, what was it? Oh, I can't remember now. I, I read it a few a few days ago about um, how the non-football heads at the Sharks um, completely messed it up with, yep. with his manager. And they were only offering, well, they were offering him less initially, uh, less years or less money or something. I can't remember now. But um, they, they didn't take their opportunity until it was too late. Then they upped their offer, and it was way too late yeah. by then. Okay. But I also think too that eventually, I think the attraction of going to the to you know the, the sunny gold or sunny sunny Queensland was probably good for his for his family. You know. Yeah. Um, yeah. I don't think I think he would have stayed if they'd not muffed it up. Why not? Maybe you stay where you're settled. Yeah. yeah. But yeah, oh, I, I think Wayne had an influence on him as well. Mm. You know, the Bridgman lifestyle, all that sort of stuff. Yeah. We'll see. Okay, so the Brisbane, what else? What the else you got? Brisbane Firehawks are formally are formally in the race to become NRL's fourth Shane Queensland Shane Richardson club. is yeah. at the head of that. Oh. So there are now three clubs in Queensland that are vying for that position. Yep, it's the so Jets, then, the Dolphins. Yep, and the, and Firehawks, the Firehawks, which is a silly name. Please it's change the name. So is the Dolphins. Um, gentlemen, if you're going to bring in a fourth Queensland team, should we bring in another team to balance out the competition? Yep. Yeah, they're talking so about the New Zealand team, aren't they? Yeah. I, I, I would like to see... I, look, I've always been a fan of uh, Perth. I think that mm. the, the Western Reds were about to go big and the Super League uh, destruction and remerger uh, cost Perth their opportunity. Apparently there's a huge infrastru- infrastructure in Rugby League yep. in Perth. Yep, yeah. and they keep winning the developing states. Yeah, and the force are going down, which yep. means there's a lot of pl- a lot of lot of fans and and, and players who are interested wanna... in rugby type of football. Yep, who could be easily converted. Look, you know, I don't, I don't know why they could nearly bite the bullet, and um, you know, I don't I don't know. Look, I, I personally think Brisbane need another team because I hate seeing the Broncos every single week on TV on a Thursday and Friday. Mm-hmm. And their, their complaint is that they want to see a team on, on that day. Mm. I like the idea of a Wellington team in New Zealand. I think that's uh, that's smart. Uh, I like the idea of a Perth team. Um, and of course, and, and I've always been a fan of um, uh, a country, a Northwest country team. So Northwest more, New South Wales. Yeah, and Maury Dubbo. Yeah, uh, that does nothing for me. Yeah, we're, I know. I know, I know that. I know that does nothing for you. But I really like that idea, and I think that would be that would be a gold mine if they got it right. Mm. So what about I, a Pacific Nation team like the Hunters? I don't think they're ready yet. No. Mm. I, I don't think New, um, New Zealand's ready for another team either. As much as tempting as it sounds, mm. New Zealand have to get the Warriors right, right first yeah. before mm. they can bring in another New Zealand do you? team. I like Perth. Yeah, I do. I, I like Perth. I, you, I you'll end up with a second New Zealand team full of Australians, honestly, because um, you know the, the uh, you know New no, Zealand. New Zealand is rugby union. Yeah. You know. Yep. And like uh, Victoria's uh, AFL. I mean, they are just. I want to. Well, place. I want to crack that. Mm. And I, and I don't disagree, but you know what? You need this to go is... from council, as we talked about before, to administrator. You know, we'll go four teams. Can we go four teams? If the Warriors four were teams. successful, I, I'd back another team in New Zealand, no problem at all. Let's go four teams. Let's go. Let's go. Dubbo, Christchurch, Brisbane, and um, <laughs> Perth. Perth. There you go. Solve Peter Valentis. So come see the us. Brisbane Bombers. Oh no, they're part of the team. Yeah, there, there well, are that's four. four. That's four. You said three before. Yeah. No, there's, there's uh, Firehawks. Yeah. The Jets, the Jets, the Bombers, the Bombers. and the Dolphins. No the, no, the Dolphins are made up. The Dolphins are affiliated with one of the others. Right, okay. Okay. Yep. Right. Uh, either way, yeah. And I'd like to see each team play each other once. That's the season. And then the home conf- games the are The conference away. idea fell on its head, didn't it? Good. 
Stupid idea. Great idea. Mm, uh, yeah, I like it. Hundred percent stupid idea. Great idea. Yeah. Dumbest. You want to idea. start again, do you? Or relegation? Yeah, I do. Want to go again? Or relegation. Oh, rele- <laughs> re- actually, you know what? I, I, will, I will say that. I'll say That's that. Way to start you know what? The it? conference, the conference idea is way better than relegation because <laughs> that is the dumbest idea. Yeah. All right. All right. Brian, anything you want to end the show with? Yep. Slime used to go down. Go the Eagles. We'll take you this week. And for uh, for Janelle and Steve and all those other Parramatta supporters, I'll be laughing next week. Thank you. Hey, Janelle. Where did Steve say I was annoying a week ago? Oh, was he saying I was annoying? <laughs> Both annoying to me. Don't even know him. Tom? <laughs> uh, we are 1-17, to 17, the Roosters. That hasn't happened all season. So go, you chooks. Go, the battlers. Oh, there goes my pen. He's battling. Yeah, he's battling. 63, I'm surprised you can pick that up. <laughs> <laughs> I think you're being generous at 63, let me tell you. Thank you for watching. You're with Tom Brown and Stephen. This is NRL from the sidelines, and we will do it all again next week. Thank you. See bye ya. Bye. bye.